His royal majesty, Ogiame Atuwa, share the thought, the Olu of worry. <laughs> My people, you <laughs> don't do them again. Yes, my people, now welcome back again to my channel. Now, maybe the worry guy greet all of them according to that time, according to where you will hear me from today. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I beg if today not the first time you they call my channel or my Facebook. You are highly welcome. Thank you so much. Say you see this video. Don't forget to like this video, share them, and may still subscribe to my channel so that you go see other video when are they do for this channel. So my people, I don't want to take on our time. I'd already analyzed everything for my last video. If you never watch and go watch and because I'm not going to talk for this video. I won't put the video when the Olu of worry see they talk to his people. The promise when he make, he don't come. He don't come to raise community to let them know, say, on another day alone for this one. Even though self say, this place when I come, na muddy area, I go use my shoe to enter with Ona. So, the Olu of worry don't come. Come make this community get that sense of belonging. If you see the way they're happy, you need to watch that first video now, show. Go watch the first video when I put, so that you go understand why I say I don't want to talk again. I don't talk all the old talk when I want to talk for that last video. Share it against my people. So, make we live unto our king, the Olu of worry, in visit to Reggio community. So, wait in talk, Mona, use on a ear, Mona, say, hear I'm not going to analyze what he talk, because for that last video, so that for people when be say they're not going to come across this video, they go going to know what he happen. That's why I put her for the last video. For this video now, I'm going to drop the video when the Olu of worry, he can't use, they talk everything. So, my people, now here I go tell live on her. When I know for Get to like this video, share it with our family so that they go know what in the law of what really they do for Uraju community. Now, so I go tell you I can leave this video now. I go see you now again for my next video. On a bye bye. Thank you. 
but God has a way of arranging things. God has a way of setting order as to who goes first and the order after that. I am 100% confident that God's hand is here. And God has a way of revisiting things. I have been having so many inspirations about setting the right foundations so that we can build properly as a kingdom, as a nation. Which was why we had sent for work. So that we could address the injustice that was done to your ancestors. And by the grace of God, we have done that. And I believe that is why God allowed that you would be the first community under this dispensation of the law that will come and set our feet on. And this gives us an opportunity to address the matter of identity, to address the matter of foundation. Shekiri Nation without any doubt, we are blessed, 100%. But for us to really fully enjoy that blessing, that without any doubt, God has bestowed upon us as a people and the land we be occupy. It is very, very important that the foundations that we are on are just. And oftentimes, because things have been a certain way for centuries, we overlook the fact that there is still something that is not just, even though we have just learned to live with it. And so, I came here dressed with my appropriate shoe gear, knowing what I was coming to see. I know, as a people, Shakiris, we like to see our king dressed glorious, looking good, sitting on the throne. And that's a good thing, and by the grace of God, we will always look good sitting on the throne. But for the mind of our people, it's very important that they know that the king is not just going to sit down in his palace and believe that everything is okay. And believe that his people, who, when you actually look at the numbers, this is easily the wealthiest kingdom in this country. Every inch of this kingdom, if I am not mistaken, is covered by OML, not OPL. They are not prospecting for oil. They are mining for oil. The entirety of this kingdom has producing wells. And so, no inch of this kingdom really should be looking like this. That is just simply the truth. So it comes down to a matter of the foundation of equity. How are things designated? How are things distributed? And once we have addressed that, stewardship and accountability of those who have been entrusted with that responsibility to ensure that these places see what God has given to them. And so, all of you have your phones. The relevant, well, the intervention agencies, you mentioned MPDC, you mentioned Chevron, I know the super deck gets Shakiri money and all these places. These people in Abuja, Asaba, Wari, Benin, wherever they are, who think, oh no, they are rich, they are fine. They must see 
that this king, this is what my kingdom looks like. My kingdom does not look like my palace in glory. So it is for them to understand that it is not fair. It is not fair that the people single-handedly producing so much live in conditions like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am not ashamed, I am not afraid to enter the mud. I will enter the mud and identify that this is my community. Once this speech is done and we have left here, we will proceed to the mud. I was told your Ikimi trees, which I was excited to see, are not here. They are down river. If I had known, I would have told you to clear the creek so that I would have loved to see those Ikimi trees. But nevertheless, this is already. And I will go and pray and redeem this last. I promise you. That is complete what we started by making our peace with the injustice that was done to everyone. And now that we have come here to redeem this land, things shall begin to change. The right attention will be drawn here. Positive development will come. I'm speaking to all of you, the leaders among you, the people among you. I am praying for good hearts for you, for good mindsets for you. Because once we open this door and the blessings start to show up, do not allow ego, do not allow greed, do not allow pride or any sense of sense entitlement, any spirit to come and say, now me will be the big man here. Yeah. The only big man in this community is Ogyam. Ogyam! Ogyam! To ensure that when Ogyam is not physically present here, that the right thing is done here, so that I hear the correct reports where I am. By the grace of God, we will be coming around from time to time. Yeah. We've done this fanfare. I know when you hear Ogyame is coming, everybody wants to decorate and all that. But we have done this now. We will come quietly to look and see for ourselves. <laughs> Every day of grass. Every grain of sand, every ounce of mud, every drop of water in this kingdom, God has given me the responsibility to ensure that it is rightfully administered. And by the grace of Almighty God, we will see that it is so. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Every single one of you, you are blessed. Amen. 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 Amen.